What's going on you guys? This is a Max KDI Renella Dell Optiplex GX280 gonna be upgrades for gaming. Show you how to do that. So you're gonna lift up this. Now first off I want to remove the, the old video card in here. And to do that, this little there's a little secure clip right here for the PCI Express Time 16 slot right here. You have to click on and the video card will slide out like this. So you have to press on this right here. Secure clip right here. Press it down when you remove the video card. So I got a 250 watt power supply in here guys. It's pretty low because I'm going to be installing the GT430. And after upgrade I'm going to install a 300 watt. In here, it's a little bit better. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna disconnect the SATA cables, 24 pin, four pin for the CPU power. You go to the other side. I can't get it. And it's got a secure clip you have to press on here too, the 24 pin right here in the middle. Same with the 4 pin. You have to press on it. And you have to use a Phillips screwdriver. There are three screws in the back. And the power supply should slide out to the right. So the, when I got this computer, the fan in here actually seized up. So I replaced the fan. It's a two. It's an 80 millimeter, but it's a 250 watt. So it's, it's good enough. But I'm just gonna go to upgrade to 300 watt since I'm installing a different video card in here. So yeah, this is the power supply I'm going to be installing. It's a light on this. Uh, I'm reusing this one. It's a used one. It's a model PS5301. I'll put it in the description in the comments. You guys can see it. It's 300 watt. It's got 24 pin and it does have a 6 pin for the, for the video cord also. That's nice. And see the problem is you cannot install any video uh, any power supply because you see how it's uh, it's supposed to be like this and on the back if your fan is like this power switch is in the right it will not work otherwise you have to cut the plate here in the back Now you're going to install back the screws for the power supply. Now I'm going to show you guys uh, doing a CPU upgrade at the same time. So I move the fence out. And it's got a plastic green clips here you have to remove. And the other side. So you put this on this clip right here and your heat sink should come out like this. So you're going to take a clean paper towel and 
and wipe down the old thermal compound off the heat sink. If yours doesn't come off really well, then just use a debit credit card and scrape it off. Like this, I'll show you. You get a debit card or credit card and you just scrape it off like that. Do not use a metal device, you don't want to scratch the heat sink, so just use plastic. And you're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and apply 91% rubbing alcohol I'll be using. So I'm just gonna take this like this and wipe it off. That's good enough. Now you're gonna do the same thing for the the old processor. You're gonna go ahead and wipe it off the old thermal compound before you remove it. And the processor guy is gonna be upgrading his. Uh, this is gonna be maxed out. It's Intel Pentium 4 at 3.8 gigahertz. I'll put in the guys. It's a model SL82U. So this is a 3.8 gigahertz, one meg to catch, 800 megahertz front side bus with the hyper threading, single core. It's a max out. You can install it in the system. So I'm gonna remove the old processor and the way you're going to install it, you see the corners right here, one on the left, one right, the bottom, that's the same way you're going to install it like that I'm going to go ahead and uh, wipe down the CPU and I'm gonna go ahead and apply thermal compound. You guys can use uh, the best one I like is Arctic Civil 5 or you can use uh, Arctic Arctic MX4 they have. It's really good actually. You can use that one. So you're gonna take the thermal compound and just right in the middle apply it like this. Not too much. And reinstall back the heat sink. Now you're gonna install back the. This looks like a green plastic, uh, like a plastic secure clips. Goes one at the bottom, one at the top. This is what, what it does is it prevents from the heat sink coming off. And like this. Now we're gonna we're done. Now you're gonna do is uh, connect. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to upgrade the memory at the same time. So I'm gonna be. Uh, well, actually, when I got the system, it had three gigs of RAM. In it, I'll show you guys. And so what I'll do, I'm gonna just do a match pair. But this is not a match pair. It's one 2 gig stick and one is a 1 gig stick. It was total 3 gigs uh, memory maxed out at the, for the Windows XP Professional. It's a 32 bit operating system. But I'm just going to install the match pair. Uh, total 2 gigs. This is dual channel. Oh, the other side, like this. So you're going to. This is a. Uh, Number one you install, if you're going to install it in one stick, then you install it right here where it says number one. And number three, it'll be the same one, we're on a dual channel, this is the channel A where the white slots are at. And now you're going to connect back the CPU power, four pin right here and the 24 pin now I'm going to show you guys to upgrading the video card 
Uh, I'm going to be installing the, this is the Gigabyte, so it's a GT430, it's 2 gigs of RAM on it, and it's a super problem max out if you're going to be playing old games. So and so that's what I'm going to be using this. I had this one laying around with just a spare, and it's got a both DVI, VGA, and HDMI port. So yeah, with this video card you guys can play older games on Windows XP perfectly fine. And you can install it through the PCI Express Time 16 slot. So the video card is installed. This little latch, you're going to install it back. Yeah, this video card does not, doesn't use a 6 pin power, so that's fine. So now I'm going to show you guys the other part and make sure if you guys purchased the system recently you have to uh, upgrade, uh, change the CMOS battery right here. Uh, that's what I did because the one I bought the computer a few years ago I ch just checked and the battery is actually low so you have to replace the battery, don't forget. And I'm going to show you guys the last part it would be is optical drive. I'm going to show, I can't even see the camera. Oh. And to do that, it's going to remove like this, disconnect the SATA, and it comes out like this. And it's got two screws on each side that I'm going to go and remove. I'm going to replace it with a Seagate. It's a 500 gig, 72 RPM hard drive. And this is a lot thinner, it's a 3.5 inch compared to the other one, the Western Digital. So, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, install the screws back, it's like this. And the other side. Just like that and you're done. You guys can see better. Let me see if I can move it like this. So I'm going to install it back. Now what I'm going to do is connect back the SATA cable. And I have to buy you guys a uh, Y splitter cable. Can you see right here? They sell this online. You have to buy Y splitter cable from SATA 1 to for both of them because the this power supply the SATA doesn't fit the power it's too short so I have to buy that they sell that online so I'm going to connect the hard drive and and I also forgot to tell you guys the optical drive. I had to change it to SATA, connect it to the motherboard, because the IDE I don't have any one any in stock, and I don't have any. You have to buy it online, but I had one of spare SATA, so I'm using that instead, not an IDE. Because IDE, I see they're selling online for like thirty dollars, so I'm not gonna buy. I have one of the spare one. I could use that one. 
So let's say guys we upgraded the uh, video card memory CPU. I'm gonna install the fan shroud back like this. And you're done. So and guys this is for the old for the this is for gonna be for the older games like from Windows XP only, so that's why. And the memory installs two gigs of so run perfectly fine, really smooth. So close this up and you're done. So I have to get the wire. See the wires right here sticking out? You have to like this. And you have to use a uh, cable ties to get the wires right. Let me get this. Otherwise the case will not close. See now it closes fine. See you guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.